again, like Mark Tasche said, you know, he was on the U.S. ski team with all these world-renowned coaches. And there was sort of politics and all kinds of crazy stuff that got in the way that kind of ruined the coaching. Oh, and, I'm sure that's true. Yeah. And he said that it was, you know, for him, he had to rely on the actual coaching, original coaching that he had to pull him through stuff, you know? Yeah. And it's good that he had folks like you that could give him that, that, that where he can feel like, okay, I need to get in tune and he can he could go hang out and with you or other folks who are in town and kind of get that, you know, I mean, well, when you're, he had he, a lot of good people around yeah. him, you know, he, he did, his roots didn't go very far from, from the Aspen area. He was, he was a homegrown kid and he loved it there and he loved the people there. Well, and there's also something to be said about genetics. I mean, when dad's on an Olympic skier too, you know, <laughs> it's not that far. <laughs> yeah. Through that. All the Tachés were like incredible skiers, you know. Well, the area produced some great ones. I had some football players that were great skiers. Stapleton was the world champion downhill skier. Tachés were great. The Mills, of course, was an Olympian. You know, it's up and down the line. The I always felt that an athlete was an athlete. When I first got there, the ski club and other people were dead set against people that skied playing football and other sports. Well, I got them over that. And Wait. some of those skiers became the best all-around athletes that I had. Well, you know, it's funny because when I interview folks for to work for my studio, I do animation and I've done it for since 91. Mm. And uh, one of the things I ask is, what sports have you done? Mm -hmm. And now, well, everybody says, no, I haven't done any sports. Yeah. I'm like, wow, because for me, sports is what really teaches you about team and it teaches you about how to see folks. In other words, you might not be a great shot, but you might be able to dribble the ball and control the ball really well. So you know who which player does what and you use them at their advantage. And that's the whole thing about the, uh, the team being in, in conjunction with each other is using each other's best traits and just going with it and, and understanding each other. And if you haven't done that on any, I mean, sports, even soccer, but sports allows you to sort of understand that, you know what I mean? And I feel like it's so important for kids to at least have had some sport involving teamwork. Yeah, well, the ones that didn't got that from me in our PE classes, because I had all my PE classes, we did team plastic play and individual stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I, I got what I, I got everything I got from you. <laughs> well, I hope it's enough. Yeah, well, it opened up a lot of doors and it allowed me to go ahead and do stuff. And I really do feel like part of the reason why I can produce what I do with my team is because of that, you know, it's because I could see, oh, this person's good at this and this person's good at this. I don't need everybody to do everything all at once. I just need to know who does what. And for those people to not be offended and to actually understand about that, which is what Outward Bound did, you know, it showed yeah. you who was strong at what and all this stuff. And I feel like that's, those are the lessons that somehow slip through our, our, you know, we teach about math and we teach about English and, you know, all that stuff, but we don't really teach about that awareness. Well, I think if you belong to a sport as a kid, you'd learn a lot of that stuff. Yeah. You know, and, and any kid, the problem now is, I don't know if it's a problem, but the trend now is to have kids, uh, when you're older, first of all, and then have them set up with individual sports like tennis uh, and things like that and so kids don't get exposed to everything they used to get exposed to when I was a kid we'd go down to the park any any day of the week and find a ball game of some kind you know that doesn't happen anymore stuff like that right yeah that's, you know, it's funny because that even happened with John Kelleher. We're sitting there on the on the cemetery lane. They had these little basketball courts right alongside of our house. Yes. And I remember we were out there hanging around and John comes up and he's like, hey, let's play crack the whip. We're all on our skateboards. And all the next thing you know is we're holding on to John's electric chair. 
John Kelleher, and all of a sudden he's whipping us around, and he'll go straight, and I'll kind of do a quick turn. And it would be funny because you'd be going straight all the way down because there'd be like about 15 of us and you go straight down and then all of a sudden the whip turn would come and kick you and you'd have to try and stay on the board. And I remember it, it was it, it's those little events of interacting with each other that's so important. And I feel like we're... We used to have a thing at the high school called uh, uh, Outdoor Education, which mm-hmm. trans- transformed absolutely for the better when it went to more than just outdoor education and we had kids going to europe we had kids going on barge trips we had kids going flying here i mean it turned into quite a thing anything educational exposing you to different things to different people different cultures is so valuable well and that gets to that gets to exactly to what i think is sad because everything like when the pep keys set up all these conferences and all these events and all these stuff it was to bring the world into Aspen and to bring Aspen it was to share there was a reason why there was a public area for kids people just to sit with a picnic so they could hear the music as coming out of the music tent Mm -hmm. might not buy a ticket but at least they could sit there and listen you know and every event seemed to have some of that that the pep keys did whereas now it's all about VIP and oh yeah that you're talking about with kids being exposed and learning it feels like that's such a valuable thing that all these events that are exclusive are doing the exact opposite they're shutting the doors on the local kids yeah yeah well i think aspen school district was a forerunner in that kind of thing at least for our our, our area it sure was